You know, most best man speeches usually consist of the best man just roasting the groom, making fun of him as much as possible and trying to embarrass him. And believe it or not, I didn't want to do that tonight. I, <laughs> I, I wanted to spend this time to really focus on all the good qualities uh, that Tim has. Like, uh, <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming. Have a good night. No, I'm only kidding. Tim's a great guy. Uh, well, as you may or may not know, I'm Joe Linen, uh, Tim's favorite brother. Yes, his only brother, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and as, as his only brother, I believe it's my duty to tell you a little bit about little Timmy here. Tim and I first met 22 and a half years ago. It was August 20th, 1991, one of the greatest days in human history, the day I was born. I, uh, I don't remember much about that day. I was going through a lot of the time. <laughs> but me and Tim shared an instant connection. Uh, we both immediately disliked each other. <laughs> yes, my brother and I definitely had our fair share of fights over the years. Um, but I, I believe that was in part due to the fact that we have very different personalities. You know, Tim was always loud and abrasive and obnoxious and foolish. Well, I was calm and self-controlled and good-looking. <laughs> you know, honestly, I was a bit surprised when he chose me to be the best man. I don't think he realized that I get the chance to stand up here and say whatever I wanted to about him in front of all his friends and family. A moment I've been looking forward to for years. Well, as I said, uh, me and Tim definitely butted heads uh, growing up, and we had a number of very funny arguments and fights, so to best illustrate that, I wrote a short poem about our humorous fights. <laughs> Once I was sleeping atop my bunk bed, Tim pulled me off and I hit my head. Once when Tim was being arrogant and haughty, I asked, what's it like being a woman trapped in a man's body? While I was out jogging by our humble abode, Tim drove through a puddle and splashed me by the road. So when Tim was having his friends over at our place, I got a full glass of water and threw it in his face. While he was waving around his new pocket knife, he accidentally stabbed me, causing some strife. It was my finger, but... <laughs> when I beat Tim at ping pong, he took it pretty hard. So he threw the ping pong paddle into the neighbor's yard. When Tim made me angry, I sometimes took it too far, and so I may or may not have peed on his car. And so this is just a, a small sample, believe it or not, of some of our fights. Uh, but I think you get the point. And I think the positive in all of the fights and arguments we had is that we both became really good at asking forgiveness. Another uh, interesting thing about Tim is that he's always had a strange love for weapons and violence. Uh, <laughs> Tim once had an actual sword uh, delivered from Amazon to his cubicle at work. They had to institute a no weapons policy just because of Tim. They said it was cutting down on productivity. <laughs> Good again. <laughs> Tim also used to hide behind his window with his pellet gun for hours so he could shoot and hang any squirrels that came into our backyard. Yes, I said hang, like with a little noose and everything. Yeah, it was shocking when he joined the Marines. In, uh, in all seriousness though, Tim, uh, I just want to let you know in front of Everyone here, how proud I am for all that you've accomplished in the Marines. Um, you've had to overcome a lot to get where you are, and you've had your fair share of trials along the way. Um, and I'm incredibly honored to say that I'm your brother. Um, not just because you're a Marine, but because even though we don't always see eye to eye, uh, you're still the best brother I could ever ask for. I love you, bro. All right, that's enough mushy stuff. Now let's talk about Jess. I'll be nice. 
I remember when I first realized uh, that Jess was going to marry my brother. We were at our cabin at Hume Lake, and uh, we'd just come back from a round of playing frisbee golf. Uh, it had been a hot day, we were very tired and sweaty, and then Tim took off his shoes, took off his socks, he looked at Jess, he was like, hey, can you rub my feet? And she did. Now, you have to understand, Tim's feet smell so bad that if he took his shoes off right now, the people in the back would have to leave. Everybody else would be dead. There was a reason why Justin washed Tim's feet tonight. Jess, uh, you are a beautiful bride, and you have so many great qualities. You're smart, funny, a hard worker, a good cook, and you have such a heart for serving and helping people. Your only flaw is your taste in men. <laughs> well, you know what they say, weddings are the only occasions where you get congratulated on a mistake. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. My mom's gonna kill me for that. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, Jess, you are amazing, and I know that just now you're my sister, but you know you've been a part of the family for a long time now. So. Well, to wrap it up, I'm incredibly happy for both of you. You both now have someone to love and care about, uh, so you don't have to be alone and single anymore. You don't have to go to the movies alone, or go to Disneyland alone, or watch A Walk to Remember alone. Not that I've done any of those things. <laughs> so, without further ado, if everyone would please join me in raising your glasses. To Tim and Jess, a lifetime of love, unity, and happiness. God bless you guys both.